Hey everybody, it's Mike Venus, and I'm back. I was asked a question by a new subscriber about um, picking between the Force and the NPC. I asked him a few more questions. He said he was an Ableton user, and he works on the computer all day. He wants to go dollars. So he was asking me about the NPC setup, probably more or less because, you know, because he already has the Launchpad Pro Mark III after inquiring a little bit more. And, um, yeah, like I said, if you, you know, I know a lot of people out there, it's a lot of disinformation about the Force. You got a lot of people try to say it's Ableton in the box. This is like Ableton. No, the Force is not Ableton. Like, not on no level. Number one, the Force runs off of the NPC firmware, which is similar to the NPC software. Um, yeah, these two machines, the live the, or the NPC lineup, you know, one live, live two, um, X, is basically the same brain, meaning the, the firmware in the inside, just a different form factor. That's the best way to describe it. He said he had Ableton. If you have Ableton and you buy one of these devices, like if you're looking at the Force, it's no, it's nothing more than a big, giant, expensive AP, APC 40 MK2. That's that's basically what the Force is when used with the Ableton integration. And you know, another thing is a lot of people get confused where. They speak about, you know, you're able to save a project in here and bring it into Ableton as an Ableton Live session or Ableton Live Light session, which was in the latest update. But if you're trying to bring a project in from Ableton into the Force, it has to be within the realm of the Force. Like, for an example, if you use 10 audio tracks, that's not going to convert because the force only has eight audio tracks. You know what I'm saying? If you didn't convert any of your your um your tracks, like say you're using a third party plugin or a Ableton instrument or like an operator or whatever, right? If you don't convert that to a sample, like your little your progressions or whatever to audio, um it's not going to, it's not going to, you know, keep anything like for an example, like if you got devices on there, you got Ableton effects, you got uh, third party effects on this particular track, you know, but you, you didn't freeze it and flatten it. It's not, it's not, none of that is going to convert it in here. You know what I'm saying? You're going to basically be like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? WTF, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, the other thing is, like, all the Ableton programs, like the drum rack, the, what is it, um, Simpler Sampler, and the, um, damn, what's the other one? Start with an I. Uh, can't think of it right now. It's only like four four Ableton tracks or programs that is able to convert like straight over because it's all audio or sample based or MIDI based. So just take that in, in consideration if you was going to buy the Force or the MPC and try to use it with Ableton or use the Force and try to convert Ableton, your Ableton uh, sessions without converting any of your Ableton or third party um, programs or devices into an audio or or flatten it or whatever it's not gonna you're basically gonna be SOL so yeah that I would not do um but yeah if you're looking for a sampler that's what it sounds like because you got the novation circuit rhythm that's a sampler but it's not a, it's not like this this is more proven I will go, I will advise either getting an MPC one um, or get an MPC live one 
which runs the same thing. They're cheaper if you want to get it used. Um, the firmware is still upstate, update to the latest. So even if you got the the live one, it still work. That's a good option if that's what you want. Um, yeah, if you if you trying to have a small setup, I would advise because you already got a Launchpad Pro Mod Three. Probably get an MPC one. You know, but if you if, you know. I don't use my Launchpad Pro with uh, Launchpad Pro Mach 3 with the Force because it's already got a 64 pad grid layout. So to me, it's that's redundant. You know what I'm saying? Um, the only reason I bought this was because I play the key. I like to play my my um, chords and stuff, and I know how to play the chords. That is how you play it on the 64 pad grid. So that's why I got the Launchpad because it's it's, I like the workflow or I like the layout. It's a great MIDI controller. It works great with the NPC, you know? Um, yeah, but if you, you know, I wouldn't run out and get alive if, if that's like, you can do the same thing with an NPC one or a live one if you're trying to save some money. You know what I'm saying? So, Hopefully that answers your question about that. Cause yeah, you know, you already got some sense. You you are a sample based producer. You can get the NPC one. And I don't own one, but from what people say it's it's just as good as the live two. The only, the only thing I like about the live two is that, you know, it's portable. I believe it's the best MPC ever because of all the overall things you could do. But if you got a small setup, you just trying to create a small setup, go with the um the MPC one. The force, like I said, or you know, you could just buy the launch or uh, excuse me, you could just buy the push too. I, I like if I had Ableton, I would buy that over any of these because that the push is an amazing controller for Ableton. You know, the launch pad is universal. You can use it with anything. You can use it in standalone or you can use it with Ableton. But yeah, if that's an option you're looking for, probably look at investing either into a push two or an MPC one. But the force, nah, because you know, if you use the Ableton, you jump to this, you're gonna be you might be disappointed. I don't know. But at the end of the day, it comes down to you and what you want to buy, what you willing to spend. Because, you know, I ain't your daddy. So I, don't, I can't tell you what to do. But you ask, so that's that's what I would do. So with that, thank you for subscribing. You be blessed. And, um, yeah, I... I would go more into my setup with the um, Launchpad and, and MPC. I've just been really focused on the Force because a lot of people are interested in it. And I'm trying to master this device. So with that, like loves everybody out there. Y'all be blessed. And um, hopefully this answers your question. Leave a comment and let me know. With that, Mike out.